if I don't get this done, I actually get to lose two teeth right in front, right in the middle, which would look hideous. A couple of weeks ago, I actually had a sensitive tooth, which is uh, this one right here, the one that's like the lowest. So what happened was whenever I drink something cold or hot, it would become very sensitive and start hurting and I just hate that pain. When I went for a regular cleaning with my dentist, I actually brought this up and they told me that this happens because my teeth aren't straight, obviously. They basically uh, cross bite and what started happening is it started receding and uh, that's why it was going out of place. So they actually took an x-ray and in the x-ray, I got to see that uh, the tooth was there and then there's like a gap on both sides. So that's obviously concerning and it needs to get addressed ASAP. So I actually got sent to an orthodontist who actually looked at it and they told me that I am gonna need braces when I get these straightened out. Obviously that sh shouldn't exist anymore. Now the real problem is I actually had braces when I was a kid. Uh, only for like a week because they were so painful I ended up taking them off and right now I actually have to get them back otherwise I'm in the risk of losing more teeth because I actually took a teeth out on this side uh, when they actually uh, put those braces on when I was a kid and as you can see it has some gap here because that gap was filled by the teeth uh, moving and this basically kind of caused this issue because in the beginning however it was it was okay but now that you know they started shifting and you know filling in spaces uh, now that's a problem so uh, we gotta get this fixed you know once and for all now the notable problem with my teeth is uh, this upper part here where one of this t uh, tooth here is taken out uh, and you know that's pretty much like the entire problem with my tooth really you know so there are three types of braces. One that everybody gets as a kid, uh, two is the Invisalign, and three is, I think something Damien or something like that. Um, this basically looks like the you know regular braces, but they're just smoother and doesn't cut as much. Um, the kid braces, I hate them. Like, if you have a kid, never ever put them through this. It's just so painful, I hated it. And uh, Invisalign, I see a lot of people use it, including my boy Rahi, um, he uses those. So, you know, I see it's not, uh, you know, you could take it off whenever you want to, you can put it back on, but you do have to keep it on for 22 hours. So you only take it off when you shower, when you eat, because it is plastic. And, you know, if you take hot shower, it can mold into it. Same thing with food. Uh, you could actually rot your teeth if you eat with those and, you know things stay inside and that could rot your teeth so uh, and Invisalign was also the shortest amount of time uh, to keep on because it was I think one and a half a year um, the other ones were like two years so uh, that's where we are uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the traditional braces uh, but not that much so you know uh, didn't make a big factor so in total this is gonna cost around like six thousand something uh, which is a pretty decent amount uh, to get your teeth straight in. But I think, uh, you know, since I have to do it, I have to do it. Uh, it's a lot of money, but whatever it is, uh, I gotta get it done. So if you guys wanna stay with this journey for a year and a half, or actually a little bit more than that, because uh, they actually ordered those the day that I actually saw the orthodontist. And it takes eight weeks to get to the dentist, and uh, they basically put it on, well, give it to me, um, you know after that eight weeks so it really depends on you know the person but you know it roughly takes about a year and a half so I think it's gonna be a monthly thing where they uh, change the shape and everything uh, or something like that um, so I'm not you know completely sure about it yet uh, I only went there once and you know I just uh, basically had them order the thing so uh, that's pretty much as much as I know so what I'm gonna have to do right now is get my wisdom teeth removed and wait until those uh, mold actually gets to the orthodontist so they can give it to me and I can start the treatment. If you guys want, you guys can follow this playlist and uh, I'll keep updating short so you guys can actually see the update um, in a fast pace and you know keep up with it and see how this goes. So I'm gonna show you my teeth right now <laughs> and you guys can see obviously the difference in time. This is where the tooth used to be where they took it out, right here. And because of that, you know, this one started slanting and then there's a gap here 
the problem tooth right now that I have is here, this one right here. You can see the gum was pretty low over there, right there. Um, but you know, other than that, it's just this top thing. Uh, this tooth here is pretty far out, and then uh, the next tooth is pretty far in. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else is straight in right now. So, you know, I don't feel, you know, bad or anything about it, but um, obviously this pain is only gonna, you know, knock more teeth out. And obviously that's something that I don't want. Another thing is my wisdom teeth uh, are, I think uh, they're on their last growth. So uh, I just have a new one right now and it's really bothering me. And it's like, you know, it's constantly like poking right now. And it's that time I just hate this kind of stuff. So uh, once this gets removed, it's gonna be a relief. Now the problem right now is orthodontist or dentist don't remove the uh, wisdom teeth. You actually have to go to an oral surgeon uh, which I was referred to, but they are far out into October. So it's gonna take a very long time for, get the, for getting these wisdom teeth removed. Um, I don't know as of now if I have to get this removed before putting the braces on. Uh, that's something I'll have to talk about and you guys will know in the next update uh, whatever they say. So if you actually want to stay up with this journey, don't forget to subscribe and watch this entire playlist as I keep updating with every appointment that I go to and I'll also put the date and everything on the bottom uh, in the description so you guys can keep track of time and everything and the exact dates of things are happening. And that's pretty much it for this first video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.